Hello guys, today I'm gonna show you how to create a liquidity miner on any network for any token and I will give the source code for free so make sure to watch it till the end so you can uh, set this up properly. I will show you in details and the best thing about this project is that it works on any network. You don't have to change anything uh, for to launch it on Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain or any other networks. You simply deploy the contract on a specific network and the website will work with that contract. It will work in any network without making any changes. And also I will show you how to uh, change the colors, the text, the background and etc. to fit your project. We're gonna test with Pepe on Ethereum network for this one, but it can work for any tokens, any network. So just to show you how this works, let's say we are on Ethereum. It's <coughs> as you can see here, we connect great. Uh, I need to uh, change the BYZ image. We'll do that later. Now uh, let's disconnect and let's try on Binance Smart Chain Network. It will still connect and work uh, perfectly. So it doesn't matter what network it is, it will always work. So now the first thing you do after you get the files from my GitHub is you deploy the smart contract. This is a smart contract. You use remix.ethereum.org to deploy the contract. Now we can see here that uh, the miner has a fee for deposits and a, re a reward percentage daily. It also has a referral program which users can refer more users and earn passive income. Now here at the smart contract deployment we need to set the token address for the miner. In this case it's Pepe but you can set uh, USDT, uh, BUSD or any token you are using. Then the next thing we do is we set the CAO2 address. This works for the fees. There is these two uh, wallets that get the fees. The first one is CAO uh, address which is the address used to deploy this contract. The second one you set the address here but if you want you can set the same address that you are using for deployment. Here we set the fees and it is at the moment at 7% that's 7 of 100 which is 7% and then we have the divider let me find it yeah, this means that uh, each uh, admin gets half of the fees. So if the fee is 10%, the CAO will get 5% transferred and the CAO2 will get 5%. But you can set the same wallet and you get the, all the fees to the same wallet. After that, you're ready to go. Make sure to use the compiler 0.4.26 uh, compile and then you go to the deployer. Here you need to make sure you're selecting this contract, not the safe mouse, not the ERC20. Then click deploy. I have already deployed so I don't want to do that again and verify the smart contract. I've made a lot of videos how to verify a smart contract so if you don't know you might check those. Then this is the smart contract verified. We have sell eggs, uh, seed market, hatch eggs which is compound, buy eggs which is invest 
and transfer ownership. This is to transfer the ownership of the contract. Now to start uh, the contract so people can start mining, you need to see the market, which you can use any amount of tokens. You can do like 0 0.01 and just click right and the miner has been started. Now after you have deployed the contract and set it up, all you need to do is open the files on Visual Studio and go to the file named interface.js. Uh, here we have the miner contract. We set the miner contract and the token contract, which is uh, paper coin. Here we have the ABI, which you don't have to change. I repeat, don't touch these because you will uh, mess up the website. After this, click save and uh, we go to the index. We want to change images, we want to change text and colors. Here you have the text, you can also as I mentioned on other videos, you can simply search for stuff and find it within the code. And you can easily uh, edit. Uh, after that, we go to the images, which we have them here. You can simply change images by just deleting and replacing them with a new image with the same name. Also there is another way which you simply upload here the files and add the location to the code which I explained in another video but uh, this is for the new buys. You can just replace the images with same name. Now we want to change the colors because the colors are important uh, to fit your project theme. As you can see here, we have a main color is uh, green, so we want to ch change this. We click inspect and we find the color. Let me try again. Okay, we copy the uh, color code and we search it on the code and here it is. So now we want to change this, let's say uh, we want to do this pink. Okay, you, cha you change one of them and then you can simply select and click change all occurrences. Uh, sorry, I need to must copy this first, then select, change all occurrences, paste, and save. Let's see now. As you can see here, we change the color to pink, kind of, kind of pink. Okay. And as you can see here, it works perfectly. Let me switch to uh, Ethereum chain. Okay, approve paper to the contract. This is the contract. It works perfectly and it can be used for any network. If you get these files and you have any issues setting them up uh, make sure to reach out to me on telegram or if you want to hire me to work on any project make sure to contact me this is it guys thank you and see you next video